and welcome to Tuesday's edition of the Quarantine Cafe. I'm your sometimes host, always editor, Josh, and I'm joined today by our typical host on the other side of the webcam, Mr. Callum McKenzie. How's it going? Um, well, I would just like to say that actually I'm a very serious jazz musician and not just the host of a awesome daily. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I, I forgot. <laughs> We're joined today by esteemed <laughs> saxophonist, Callum McKenzie. He's got the sunglasses on and he's going to share with us some uh, saxophone licks. Is that is that correct? Yeah, a, a lot of saxophone licks because nobody likes anything more than 20 minutes of unaccompanied saxophone. Yeah, I think the only thing better than watching that is editing it. So let's uh, let's see what we have here, and we'll be back talk more about Quarantine Cafe after this. Thank you. 
And we are back with Mr. Cal McKenzie, the saxophone player based out of Watertown, Massachusetts. Yeah, that would be Watertown, Massachusetts. It's like this little town right outside of Cambridge. Yeah, it's a great, great place to live. Um, we've got the Mount Auburn Cemetery here. It's ginormous. It's like the biggest cemetery I've ever seen in my life. I love it. I was biking right by that cemetery uh, just the other day. Yeah, have you ever bike in the cemetery, but around it is totally fine. Oh, you can't bike in the cemetery. On one hand, it makes sense, right? If if I was buried there, I maybe wouldn't want to be biked over, but you know. Yep. So other than dead people in Watertown, where where were you going with that? (laughs) Yeah. uh, Aside from that, we have some exciting news that we want to talk about today. And I guess full disclosure, uh, we're doing kind of like a internal quarantine cafe episode today partially because we have some awesome news that we want to share partially because we were just kind of running around trying to get a last minute act on for today callum you were available available for a last minute interview so shocking right that. um don't don't worry though we have plenty of new videos coming up in the next week or two but yeah well we're good for the next two weeks now actually which is cool but we got like three videos today. Uh, and then we're going real global with it, right? You want to? Yeah, we're going real global with it. Uh, so I heard, I mean, you can, you can tell me if I'm wrong, but I heard that we are now going to be on seven different public access stations in the New England area and that we're in talks to get on like another two of them in addition to that. Is that true? Those, uh, that, that rumor is correct. I, I will admit it. We started the show originally uh, airing on Cambridge Community Television, um, but in the past week or two, we've been reaching out to other folks in the area. We are going to be picked up by Arlington Community Media, Belmont Media Center, Ipswich Community Access Media, Malden Access TV, Somerville Community Access TV, and Vermont Community Access Media up in Burlington. This is this is kind of funny. You look like like a like a politician or something reading off of a teleprompter. What? I wasn't reading off a teleprompter. <laughs> I memorized all of that. What are you, you talking should, about? You should just like have another laptop set up so you can be like Belmont Community Access Media, Somerville. You know, like yeah, yeah. I'm I'm looking around. I'm really really engaged with it. But no, that that's uh. That's I hope there isn't a big crowd over there, Josh. That's yeah, not safe well, right now. we're we're dealing with a, a big virtual crowd. And I'm sure they're very proud of for us right now because uh, yep. you We've know got a lot of PPE. We're gonna Big keep on adding. We're, we're gonna try to branch out of New England a little more, but uh, it's definitely a really good start, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm 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 impressed by us. Yeah, <laughs> if I do say so myself. <laughs> uh, that's true. I guess I've never been syndicated on on any public access station before this. I know, neither have I. I'm quite excited. I mean, like, uh, we used to do a, a show together called Folked Up on CCTV, like, uh, back in the old times. <laughs> right, but that, we, you know, we were working with CCTV. We were working for the man. Now yeah, we're, we're working for the man. Own, we're liberated. Just with our webcams and uh, distributing it as, as widely as possible. It's pretty cool. And, uh, you know, if anybody's watching and happens to be from some kind of community media or public access media, like we would love to let you broadcast our show. It, uh, it doesn't take much. We'll, we'll sign basically any document you put in front of us. We, we probably won't even bother reading it. <laughs> yeah. We, is that true? <laughs> uh, I mean, I've been signing your name these past couple of weeks just on like uh, agreements and like, you know, legal legal papers and credit yeah. rentals and stuff that's probably smart that's smarter for both of us because then like if we sign something that we don't want to sign i can be like hey i didn't sign that that was fraud yeah that's not my signature <laughs> yeah that's not my signature whose signature could that be looks like column mcnezzy over there yeah anyways <laughs> um but yeah, uh, that, that that's our exciting news of the moment. We got any more? I, I guess let, let's get back to some more sacks and then we'll say bye. Sure, sounds good to me. All righty, here is Calm on the Sacks. <laughs>
And we are back here at the Quarantine Cafe. Hi, Josh. I got to ask you, uh, you just played a couple songs on sax. I think you might have a few more for us after this. But uh, what what kind of songs were you playing? Where does saxophone rank in your uh, list of instruments that you love? And uh, how are you doing, man? Well, so uh, first of all, I'm doing great. I'm about to go out for a stroll, you know. Uh, as people do right now. Uh, so saxophone, where does it rank on the list of things that I love? I would say that I actually probably like playing flute a little bit more, but I'm way better at saxophone, which is why I decided to play saxophone for this thing. Uh, and the music I was playing, two of them are jazz standards, and one of them is like this weird original thing, but I, I mean, like I, maybe like 30 seconds of them are the actual melody, and the rest of it is just me like dicking around and pretending to act like I know what I'm doing and just kind of improvising and sitting around. And, you know, I found a great place with a background that kind of looked like this, like accidental Wes Anderson thing, which was cool. And I liked that. That was really nice. Oh yeah. I saw that in the footage. The background kind of looks like your shirt design a little bit. So you were kind of blending in with, with the background a bit. Yeah, it was a pretty cool, pretty cool looking background. Um, I really enjoyed playing some saxophone for Quarantine Cafe. And, you know, like, thank you so much for having me on, by the way. Like what, what you guys are doing with this is like a really, uh, a really great thing. Wow. It really means so much uh, for you to say that. I'll definitely let my uh, collaborator know that, uh, we're, you know, we're doing great work here and we're, we're all appreciated by the general public with no uh, affiliation to ourselves. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to being on uh, seven to nine um, public access stations. And yeah. Yeah, and, and good old Facebook. And I've been saying it for a while now, but going to start uploading to YouTube soon. Uh, we'll have a YouTube channel up and running sometime this week with all the old episodes and new episodes coming to that too. So that's exciting. Yeah, don't worry. If, if, You've been wanting to watch the show more, but it's just so inconvenient to somehow watch it. We are taking care of that. Uh, You'll only be a couple button clicks away from tuning into the cafe. Uh, uh, That's almost a slogan. You probably shouldn't ever use that again. I like that. Button clicks away from tuning into the cafe. That's a meter, too. You know, uh, music music flows through all of us, is what I'm trying to say. It sure does, Josh. Great. Well, Calum, it's been a pleasure. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to say to our audience before we go for the day? Um, yeah, I would just say wash your hands, wear a mask when you go outside, stay at home, and, uh, and watch, watch this show at noon every day because it's like, what else are you going to do? It's like the best show, and we love it. And, 
and yeah, you can watch it on on like ten different places now. So and you have no excuse anymore. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for coming on for plugging the show, even though you have no affiliation with us whatsoever. Um, thank you for having me, Josh. Oh, and really fun. I would love to do it again sometime. <laughs> definitely, I'm sure we will do this again sometime. Yeah, whenever whenever we don't have content for. <laughs> yeah. All right. Take care. I'll talk to you at some point. Sounds good. And hopefully you guys will be seeing Josh or whoever the normal host of this show is again at noon tomorrow to see uh, Francesco Bolognese, who is an amazing uh, singer songwriter from Rome. Wait, how did you know that we were going to have Francesco on tomorrow, Callum? How would you know that? Um, telepathy. Cool. It's All actually right, a well, side effect of coronavirus. Oh, man. The more you know. Yep. Well, uh, that's as good of a note as any to leave off on. So take care, and we will catch you back here again tomorrow. Sounds good. See you, Josh. See you, Callum.